Do you know how to draw Lewis structures? Write the Lewis structure of CF2, which is difluoromethane, and CHCl3, which is chloroform. So this is where it's really important to be really confident with the periodic table. So, let so let's take a look at CH2F2, and let's see where these elements live on the periodic table. I know carbon lives right over here. So I'm going to say that carbon lives right over here. How many valence electrons do we have? Remember, I told you a little trick. We're going to put an eight right here to indicate that everything in this column has eight valence electrons and a seven right here to indicate that everything in this column has seven valence electrons and then a six, five, four. So as we can see, carbon lives in this column, which has a four. So therefore, carbon has four valence electrons, fluorine has seven, and then the rule is we're going to start with one here. So hydrogen has one valence electron here. So we're starting with CH2F2, and we said that carbon has four valence electrons, hydrogen has one valence electron, and fluorine has seven valence electrons. But notice that we have one carbon and two H's and, and two fluorines here. So don't hate me for saying this, but this is gonna take a lot of practice just to see that I know in my head that carbon has four. So I know in my head that carbon is gonna be right in the center here. And I'm gonna place one, two, three, four valence electrons on each side. So if it had more valence electrons, such as oxygen, we would put them over here or over here. But carbon only has four. And notice that we have two and two atoms here. So I'm going to arbitrarily select H to be on this side, which I know H has one valence electron. And I'm going to bond it right over here. Oh, take a look at that. A bond just formed. I'm going to arbitrarily select the right hand side for this H to live right over here as well. Oh, another bond formed. So we're done with C and H. Where can you guess the fluorine is going to be then? Fluorine is going to be right up here, which why did I put a two up here? This is a seven. That was supposed to be a seven. And so we have seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven up here and then a new bond form here. When we have two valence electrons, that's a bond forming. And then down here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now carbon has a total of two, four, six, eight, which is good. Eight is a very magic number in chemistry. That means the octet is completely